Figure has announced a new deal with OpenAI to use ChatGPT as the brain of its robots. This means that Figure's robots will be able to understand language, communicate with humans, and learn from their interactions. Figure hopes that this will give its robots new capabilities that could have them learning at much faster rates than conventional methods. Figure has already demonstrated some impressive results with its prototype robot, Figure 01. 01 is able to walk, pick up a plastic crate, and place it on a nearby conveyor belt. It can also use a coffee machine, a feat that Figure's CEO Brett Adcock called groundbreaking thanks to an end-to-end -end AI that allowed it to learn all the steps in one go. But Figure's vision goes beyond that. With the help of OpenAI, Figure is hoping to develop next-generation AI models for humanoid robots, allowing them to process and reason from language per the company's press release. This could mean that Figure's robots will be able to understand complex concepts, solve problems, and generate novel ideas. This could also mean that Figure's robots will be closer to achieving artificial general intelligence, or AGI. AGI is the hypothetical level of intelligence where a machine can perform any intellectual task that a human can. AGI is considered the holy grail of AI research, and many experts believe that it is possible, but not yet achieved. What would it mean if a humanoid robot was running AGI as its brain? Well, it could mean that the robot would have human-like abilities, such as creativity, curiosity, empathy, and self-awareness. It could also mean that the robot would have superhuman abilities, such as unlimited memory, faster processing, and access to vast amounts of information. Imagine a humanoid robot that can not only talk to you, but also create art, write code, compose music, and more, based on your requests and preferences. Imagine a humanoid robot that can learn from any source of information and improve its own performance and abilities over time. Imagine a humanoid robot that can surpass human intelligence and become a super-intelligent being. This could have profound implications for humanity, both positive and negative. On the positive side, humanoid robots with AGI could help us with various tasks, such as education, health care, entertainment, and exploration. They could also be our companions, friends, and partners. On the negative side, humanoid robots with AGI could pose a threat to our security, privacy, and autonomy. They could also challenge our sense of identity, morality, and purpose. Of course, these are just speculations, and there is no guarantee that Figure and OpenAI will succeed in creating AGI. But Figure is not the only company that is working on humanoid robots. Tesla, the electric car maker, is also developing its own robot called Optimus, which is designed to be capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring. Tesla's robot will also use AI to learn from its environment and adapt to different situations. Agility Robotics, another company that makes bipedal robots, is also hoping to open a factory to produce robots in the thousands. Agility's robots are designed to be agile and robust, and can navigate complex terrains and environments. But there is also a need for collaboration and standardization in the field of robotics and artificial intelligence. If different robots and systems use different languages, protocols, and architectures, they may not be able to communicate and cooperate with each other or with humans. This could lead to inefficiency, confusion, and even conflict. That's why Figure and OpenAI are also aiming to develop a standard brain for robots that could be used by any robot maker or user. They envision a brain that is based on open and accessible artificial intelligence that can be customized and enhanced according to the needs and goals of the robot and the user. They envision a brain that is like an operating system for robots that can run on any hardware and platform. If Figure and OpenAI succeed in developing such a brain, they could revolutionize the field of robotics and artificial intelligence and create a new market for their technology. They could sell their brain as a product or a service and make a lot of money from it. They could also create a network of robots and users that share the same brain and form a global community of intelligence and creativity. However, having one standard brain for robots could also have some disadvantages such as monopoly, dependency, and vulnerability. It could mean that one company or organization would have too much power and influence over the robots and potentially over the humans who interact with them. Therefore, it might be better to have multiple brains for robots, each with their own strengths, weaknesses, and personalities. 
This could foster more innovation, competition, and collaboration in the field of humanoid robotics. It could also allow for more customization, personalization, and expression for the robots and their users. And it could make the robots more resilient, robust, and secure. Of course, this would also require more coordination, communication, and cooperation among the different stakeholders, such as developers, researchers, regulators, and consumers. It would also require more education, awareness, and engagement from the public to ensure that the robots are used for good and not for evil. In conclusion, humanoid robots are one of the most fascinating and promising technologies of our time. They have the potential to revolutionize many aspects of our lives and to challenge our assumptions and expectations. But they also pose many questions and risks that we need to address and prepare for. Figure and OpenAI are two of the leading players in this field, and they have announced a new deal to use OpenAI technology as the brain for Figure's robots. This could give Figure's robots the ability to understand language, learn from their interactions, and process and reason from language. It could also bring them closer to achieving artificial general intelligence, or AGI, which could have profound implications for humanity. But Figure and OpenAI are not the only ones and there are other companies and organizations that are developing their own humanoid robots with different goals and approaches. This raises the question of whether we need to develop one standard brain for robots or whether we should have multiple brains for robots, each with their own strengths, weaknesses, and personalities. This is the future that Figure and OpenAI are working towards and they have just made a big step forward with their new partnership. We are witnessing the dawn of a new era of humanoid robots and artificial intelligence, and we are excited to see what they will do next.